Hello everybody, my name is Timothy McCain and I travel full time as evangelist. And so I, uh, the great thing about traveling and uh, there's many amazing things about it. Uh, however, there's also some things that I get asked questions all the time. And there's sadly, there is not a lot of uh, Bible schools or programs or ministries that is raising up people or giving them practical tips and practical advice of traveling full time as an evangelist. I believe in the fivefold ministry. I believe in you reading the book of uh, book of um, Ephesians that it mention, mentions and talks about prophets, pastors, teachers, uh, apostles. Uh, I also believe in the office of the evangelist. It is just as important and it's just as necessary. And sadly, in this day, in this time, and in, in our um, and many many main many mainstream denominations and across the board it seems like the office of the evangelist is a forgotten office um, but i want to help rekindle that i want to help uh, raise up a generation of people who is giving god their yes um, something that concerns me is that uh when i preach district camps or I preach around the world at conventions or whatever and and there's been many times where people man by the grace of god has given god their yes regarding the assignment calling that place on them. I believe the scripture says we're giving God glory by completing the assignment he gave us. And so I believe you want to glorify God. If he calls you to be a doctor, please be a doctor. If he calls you to be a lawyer, be a lawyer. If he calls you to be a full-time mom, be a full-time mom. You give God glory by completing the assignment he gave you. And just in that in that same understanding, I believe if God has called you to be a missionary, be a missionary. If God calls you to be a pastor, be a pastor. If God calls you to be a teacher, be a teacher. If God calls you to be an apostle. There's apostolic anointing in your life for that. The gifting the prophet is anointing. If, if this this is what he's called you to do. You, you, you're responsible of giving God your yes. However, the office of the evangelist is still just as important and still just as necessary to give God your yes. However, what concerns me being in where we are in this day and time uh, is to know all these people who may raise their hand and say, God, yes, I want to be an evangelist. I'm called to be an evangelist and I'm talking and I'll go into other details regarding the some of the differences um, Regarding like street evangelism and the revivalist and all this stuff, stuff like that if I could Categorize in a way that may be more palatable and help easier to understand But I'm talking even the individual who will go from uh, place to place preaching the gospel encouraging the church things of that nature Sadly in this day and time you there are people I feel like they're giving God their yes and they will struggle uh, to step into um, who they're called, uh, step into who they're called to be and be celebrated by the yes they are given. And so there's some complication, there's some difficulty, there's some absolutely amazing things that is that, that God can do being an evangelist. And I thought, man, that it, that, uh, I've been doing this for quite a, quite a few years now. And, um, and we've seen God do some absolutely incredible things, been in places and areas and, and countries and states. And, and, uh, I never thought I would ever be in a place, I've never had the privilege to be a part of a couple of literally, literally uh, a very small town um, in North Carolina and to be uh, standing in, in places man just it just absolutely blows me away uh, but there's been some struggles along the way there's been some trials along the way there's been up so uphill battles along the way and there's and there and there still is some fights things we're believing God for but I thought you know what I'm going to to the best of my ability help equip people give you nuggets honest answers honest feedback and honest advice and bring people along the channel as well that will help you along the way so listen if you are called to be an evangelist if you man uh you know that there's a stirring in your heart in this particular office or maybe you don't even know what that really means but there's something that's burning in your heart regarding that you need to make sure you subscribe to this channel and so uh family listen we're gonna talk about some things some very practical things but this is gonna be rated r this is gonna be rated real this is gonna be rated honest right we'll talk about some things and necessity uh talk about how important it is to guard your heart we're gonna talk about finances we're gonna talk about uh travel tips and talking about the, the importance of being low of uh, being low uh, uh, loyal to an airline and loyal to a hotel and things of nature and the benefits of all the things talk about some practical advice and, and how your credit will directly affect your effectiveness in so many areas and so we're going to talk about this thing so make sure right now you press that subscribe button to opening god's ministries make sure you follow the instagram and family so not only is this channel going to be a place of inspiration but it's going to be a place of information and i know family that it is vitally important for you to give God your yes. So I believe there's a difference between a, being a 
than being a preacher and a minister. A preacher just tells, but I believe for me, my definition, a minister administers, there's a deposit. So I want to help you shift from simply just talking about it, exclaiming about it, or, or preaching about it, but it help you to be the best minister you possibly can be. The office of the evangelist is important. The, uh, the office of the apostle, the apostolic anointing is important. The office of a prophet is just as important as pastors and teachers. You want to give God your glory. You want to give, you want to glorify the Lord. Give him your yes. And even though there may be people who have used the, and, and, and spoke about the office of the prophet and the apostles and the evangelists like a punchline, maybe it's not celebrated or endorsed in mainstream things, or maybe you don't feel like there's a place for you. There, maybe you feel like you're constantly the, 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 the ugly duckling. Maybe you feel like you're constantly the individual that doesn't fit in. I want to help you to uh, and encourage you to help to give attention to whatever's going on inside of your heart. You are important. Your yes is important. And your yes is, is, is incredibly necessary. You are harvesters. So I want to help you to how and, and help you uh, this way. So right now, go ahead. Uh, comment and like and subscribe to this channel, Opening God's Ministries and Family. There's a lot of great information coming ahead. Peace.